evening and welcome to worship at St. John Lutheran Church in Griffin, Georgia. Uh, it's a Wednesday night and hot and humid, but we're going to sing our hearts out and praise God. So here we go with Come, Now is the Time to Worship.
our creator and protector, you illumine the world and breathe life into us. You heal the world with your outstretched arms. You rescue creation and inspire your church. We thank you for this day. Let us remember your gifts and your promises in our thoughts and actions, in our communities and churches. Amen. And now Rebecca is going to read our God pause for this evening. Um, Pastor Mary got ill, and so we are improvising. And so, Rebecca? The reading is from 2 Corinthians 12, 2 through 10. I know a person in Christ who 14 years ago was caught up to the third heaven, whether in the body or out of the body. I do not know. God knows. And I know that such a person, whether in the body or out of the body, I do not know, God knows, was caught up into paradise and heard things that are not to be told, that no mortal is permitted to repeat. On behalf of such a one, I will boast, but on my behalf, I will not boast except of my weakness. But if I wish to boast, I will not be a fool, for I will be speaking the truth. But I refrain from it so that no one may think better of me than what it is seen in me or heard from me. Even considering the exceptional character of the revelations, therefore, to keep me from being too related, a thorn was given me in the flesh, a messenger of Satan, of Satan to torment me, to keep me from being too elated. Three times I appeared appealed to the Lord about this, that it would leave me. But he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for power is made perfect in weakness. So I will boast all the more gladly of my weakness, so that the power of Christ may dwell in me. Therefore, I am content with weakness, insults, hardships, persecutions, and calamities for the sake of Christ. For whenever I am weak, then I am strong. Devotion. On behalf of such a one, I will boast. But on my be own behalf, I will not boast, except of my weakness. A rule taught in my preaching class was to never boast about yourself in the pulpit. However, Paul's attempt to honor that rule here, though beginning awkwardly, ends magnificently in the message of God's sufficiency. No danger here. My believers and my blunders while leading worship ensure humility. After giving an Easter Sunday children's message wearing a headband and rabbit with rabbit ears, I quickly stepped over to the pulpit to proclaim Easter's gospel of the resurrection. Midway through, I became conscious I was still wearing rabbit ears. I dipped on I dipped down behind the pulpit, slipped off the headband, and rose back into place to continue reading. In the shared laughter of such humbling moments, we actually breathe in and out God's grace. It truly is sufficient. What a welcome relief. Prayer. Oh Lord, I did it again. Thank you that in such moments, I am reminded your grace is sufficient, and you would still have me serve you. Bloopers and all. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Rebecca. <laughs> Thanks, Rebecca. All right. So, um, Lord, I lift your name on high is our next song. We're going to sing it twice.
um, we pray. On our hearts and on our houses, the blessing of God. In our coming and our going, the peace of God. In our life and our believing, the love of God. At our end and new beginning, the arms of God to welcome us and bring us home. Amen. And our last song for tonight is Mighty to Save.